हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू आर हेयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सेज दैट इफ द फोर्स एफ इक्वल्स टू हंड्रेड न्यूटन लाइज इन द प्लेन डी बी ई सी व्हिच इज पैरल टू द एक्जैक्ट प्लेन एंड मेक एन एंगल ऑफ हंड्रेड टेन डिग्री विद एक्सटेंडेड लाइन डी बी एज शोन डिटरमाइन द एंगल दैट एफ मैक्स विद द डाइगनल ए बी ऑफ द क्रेड so we are given this force f which has a magnitude of 100 newton and it is lying in this plane d b e c and this d b e c plane is parallel to the x z plane so if we draw a plane parallel to the x z axis so this d b f c will be parallel to that uh, x z plane let's say that this is the plane which is passing through the x z axis so that d b e c face of the box is parallel to this x z plane this is x z plane and this force f is lying in this x z plane so if this force f is lying in this x z plane so it will have two components so now we can write that uh, we if we define a position vector from a to b let's say that if we have a position vector from a to b and if we take the dot product of both of these so that will give us the angle between both of these vectors so this is the position vector from a to b so if i write that force f the dot product of force f with the position vector from a to b so this will be f magnitude multiplied by the magnitude of the position vector from a to b cos of theta so from this equation we can write that cos of theta will be equal to the dot product of force f with the position vector from a to b divided by their corresponding magnitudes so now we need to find the cartesian vector representation of that force f so we we have to write f vector and since this force f is lying in the x z plane so it will have two components it will have f of x component and f of z component since it is lying in the x z plane and its y component would be zero so we can write that this is zero j so now if i draw f of x component of this force f so this will be the f of x component and parallel to the z axis is will be f of z component so it is making 10 degree with this db line so this f of x is the cos component of this 100 newton so we can write that f of x is 100 cos of 10 degrees and this f of x is acting in the negative x direction this is the positive x direction this is the positive x direction so this is in the negative x we have to write minus i plus 0 j and this f of z is the sine component of this so we can write that this is 100 sine of 10 degrees and it is acting in the positive z direction so this is the cartesian vector representation of that force f now the position vector from a to b so to write the position vector from a to b we need to move from a to reach that point b along the x y and z axis so to reach that point b from a we need to move uh, this ac length of the box which is 0.2 meters in the positive y direction so i will write plus 0.2 j and then uh, in the negative x direction we need to move 0.5 meters So this is this is in the positive x so this is in the negative x so here we have to write plus uh, minus 0.5 i and then we need to move this length this is 0.2 in the positive z if this whole face is parallel to the x z plane so this will be this edge will be parallel to the z axis as we can see from and this side view so this edge is parallel to the z axis so we need to move 0.2 along the k direction so this is the position vector from a to b and now we can find its magnitude so its magnitude will be minus 0.5 square plus 0.2 square plus 0.2 square and then we will take the square root so this is minus 0 Minus zero point five square doesn't matter. Minus zero point five and plus zero point five square will give us the same answer. So zero point five square 
plus 0 0.2 square plus 0 0.2 square so this is 0 0.57446 let's say 0 0.57446 and this will be in meters since this is the position vector so its magnitude will be in meters so now we can put all those values in this equation so uh, this f cartesian vector so f cartesian vector is minus 100 cos of 10 degrees i plus 0 j plus 100 sine of 10 degrees k dot product with the position vector from a to b which is minus 0 0.5 i plus 0 0.2 j plus 0 0.2 k and now divided by the magnitude so the magnitudes are the, the f magnitude is 100 and the position vector magnitude is 0 0.57446 so if we take the dot product of both of these we need to multiply i component with ij with j and k with k so this will be minus into minus plus 0 0.5 into 100 100 cos of 10 i dot i is 1 and then 0 into 0 0.2 is 0 and this is uh, 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 into 100 sine of 10 degrees and k dot k is 1 and this is 100 into 0 0.57446. So this is 0 0.5 into 100 cos of 10 plus 0 plus 0 0.2 into 100 sine of 10 divided by 100 into 0 0.57446. So this gives us 0. Uh, 9176 0 0.9176 so this is cos of theta and if we take the inverse of this answer so theta will be equal to cos inverse of 0 0.9176 so cos inverse of that answer so the angle between that force f and the diagonal from a to b is 23.42 degrees so this is 23.42 degrees so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope you people would have understood this problem solution kindly subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems and like this video if you people want me to solve uh, such problems from hebla statics